Know what you're talking about before you say something. In this story, you will see a young man who will be drafted into the Vietnam War. You will see the arguments with officers and eventually tough decisions having to be made to stay alive. To the demise of the young man being left on his own by the same government that drafted him into the Vietnam War. Seeing him suffer with shell shock and no support to treat him from the VA. getting drafted. But mom, I don't want to get drafted. It's a worthless war. There's no point. I don't need any of it. Alright mom, I'm leaving for Nam now. Okay, have, have a good time. Alright. Take care of yourself. Bye mom. Bye. Love you son. Love you too mom. All right, cadet, you've been chosen to go and fight for your country in Vietnam. Now I was looking at your records and seeing where you came from, and they said you're from California. And what I've heard is that that's hippie land. Are you a fucking hippie? No, sir. All right, and what do you think about the war? It is stupid, sir. What do you think about the war? It is stupid, sir! I got brothers that fucking died out there. Shed their own blood for this country. You fucking piece of shit. Are you scared yet, cadet? No, sir! It seems like you are. Is that piss in your pants? Yes, sir! I fought with some of the toughest soldiers you've ever seen. You know Captain America? Yes, sir! That was my lead man back in World War II. We took down Hitler together. What the fuck is so funny? Nothing, sir! Shit, better not be funny, I'm being dead ass. Hi, cadet. First thing we're gonna do is get you ready for Vietnam. We're gonna take a hike through the woods. Give you some pointers on what to look for when you get over there. Are yeah. you ready? Yes, sir! Grab your weapon. They put those jars? No, sir. Thing called napalm. Thing has wiped out the Vietnam race almost completely with this one jar of napalm. Alright, let's go. Right over here. Should we call it the wood right here? Yes, sir. That's to resemble a Vietnam trap. I'm just a normal surgeon soldier walking over here, scoping things out. Bam! Stop on a piece of that wood. My legs blown up into pieces. Everywhere. Follow me. Where'd you say you were from, soldier? California, sir. We're at in California. San Francisco, sir. Wait a second. I knew you looked familiar. You're that motherfucker that spit on me when I was driving the Jeep. No, sir. Yes, you were. <laughs> now listen up. There's one thing you gotta do in order to survive out here in Vietnam. You gotta respect the war. Yes, sir. Respect the war. I got guys out there that's been fighting for many years. Hadn't seen their kids, hadn't seen their wives, hadn't seen their families. So if you go out there 
fighting for this country and you don't respect the war, you will come back in 10 different baggies. One with your head, one with your feet, one with your legs, and one with your eyes, and one with your ears. You get the drill. Yes, sir. You hear that? Yes, sir. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Come on, down, brother. Listen. I'm gonna go make a move up top. You stay right here until I get back. Got it? Yes, sir. Sir! Remember your training. And also, remember, do it for bugs. Yes, sir! For my friends, for Bob's, and for my mom, I'm getting back home. I didn't want to kill anyone, man. I'm a peaceful dude. But when I have to do it for my mama, I have to. Made peace, not war. Made peace, not war. I was a peaceful dude at one point, but I had to go out there and kill those men. They killed, they killed the guy that punched me in the face. I miss my mama. I miss my mama. You killed all those children. You killed all those children. You killed all those children. You're making things worse. Tell me what to do. Think about your training. I'm a peaceful man, man. I miss my mama. I didn't even want to go to this war in the first place. You just drafted me in. I didn't want to go. I don't like war. War's stupid. Hell. I'm shell shocked, man. The government gives me no benefits. I'm going to be poor for the rest of my life. I can't do this anymore. Let me help. Help.